So welcome back again. We are going to learn about uh, Oracle Apex. This is second video in uh, Oracle Apex uh, video series. So today we are going to learn about how to create a web app, uh, how to create application over here. So for that, let's go to this app builder. We'll click on this app builder. And uh, once we'll cl click on it, we are going to get two options over here. Create a new app and install a productivity or sample app. So let's not create a new app now. We'll click on this install and productivity app uh, uh, and see what are the apps already of, uh, already there and how we can install it in our uh, environment. Okay. So as you can see, we have all these uh, applications already uh, developed. So when as soon you will sign up in this apex.oracle.com, you'll get access of all these sample applications or productive applications. So some of the, these are uh, the applications. Some of them are classified as productivity app. Uh, when you will click on it, you'll get all these productivity app and some of them are sample apps. I don't know how they have classified it, but yes, it isn't. It is classified in this way, but let's click on all and see all these applications. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to install uh, any, any one of uh, these uh, applications and we'll look into that so let, let's click on this sample database application okay so let's uh, install this application and see how the application look like looks like and what are the kind of features we have the we have over there so let's click on it and uh, once you will click on it you are going to reach out to a place where it will ask you to install this app if you want you can read about this also and uh, the kind of they have I mean it, it's their version and their, their their information actually you're going to get reports charts calendar map and everything okay let's click on this install app uh, this is nothing but authentication let it be the default one click on next uh, so once you'll click on this thing you're going to it, it is going to ask you about the installation I don't know what happened it seems my internet is slow or something uh, okay I don't think let me cross it and let me close it and try again install app yes click on next yeah we got it so we uh, let's click on this install app button so your uh, application is installing here once it will get installed we will look into the application by running the application in our browser and we will see what are all features we have great so it got done it got done uh, but here it is written that it is installed but yeah it is unlocked that is fine now click on this run button i'll click on it and uh, we have to enter the credential write your username and password what you have for uh, workspace click on uh, sign in over here and now this is nothing but your uh, nice application you just have clicked on set some buttons and you got this application ready right okay so i'll explain you these things one by one but before that before explaining everything i just want to show you are getting this nice edit field we called it as edit field so because you are a developer and you have signed up in this app i mean signed in in this application via this uh, workspace actually you have uh, sign in signed in in this workspace first then you have uh, getting then you are getting into application so that is why you are getting these uh, edit link actually these edit toolbar you can hide it also you have the setting button over here and uh, you can write uh, select this auto hide so it will get hide it like this yeah fine so actually we are going to use these tools only to develop the application or to debug or to create or edit any page but let's not get into that first we'll look into this application all right so here this sample web application got sample database application got installed and you are this is ready to use you have this is nothing but this is the name of the application what you have here this is navigation uh, the bar navigation bar you can collapse it and you can expand it by clicking on this right top left corner uh, button the, these three lines actually so this is side navigation menu okay 
this is again again another navigation menu actually here you'll get your username and the help link and the this is snapshot now uh, this is the name of the application you're getting this search field my nice search field this is your dashboard when you'll come down here your information top customers like that top product here we have then we have top orders by date and this is the amount of the order here we have some tags which is getting used and these are all the footer section where you can enter where you can give your social information social uh, like linkedin facebook things like that yeah this is going this is your home page let's click on this uh, button again and go to customers uh, so here you have this interactive grid you're getting this feature this got this column got freezed so i just want to show you what are the kind of com the things what you can develop your uh, in your uh, regular picks application so these are these are the things what you can develop once you'll once you learn about this thing you you will be able to develop all these things okay now let's go to product here we have these images you will be able to make it actually once you'll once you'll be familiar with uh, with with this thing and uh, this is nothing but we call it as interactive report i'll let you know how to make interactive report here you are getting images with all these informations now let's click on order and let's see how yeah so here you have another type of button as you can see when you hover over it you it just get a color and this is a clickable field actually once you click on it you're getting this nice uh, you know this thing uh, page where you have these informations plus this information you have this cancel button this delete button apply changes everything is there let me close it along with these informations here you have multiple reports primary report and monthly review let's click on monthly review you're getting some monthly review like this so i'll let you know how to create these things also let's not worry about it now let's click on reports we have here multiple reports it seems uh, as you can see we have these reports here let me click on this reports tab and you are getting this nice you know uh, placement of all reports how it is going to look like let me click on it and you reached out to this place this is so this is nothing but a pie chart let me go back to report again we call it as breadcrumb this section is nothing but breadcrumb let's go to another uh, report customer map and here we have some message comes error message feature is not supported plot type so yeah some this this is nothing but a map feature recently got introduced in oracle apex oracle database actually so it is it comes in the market in i think december 2019 uh, so this is pretty new feature actually so it may possible that it will not get supported by things this thing but yeah let's not get into it uh, we are just looking into the application what other type other type of things are there now this is sales so this is again another type of report you can say where we we have this uh, these uh, what what should i call these images with the name and the the the, the amount things like that okay now i'll show you another report product order tree so this is nothing but tree nothing but tree it can be expanded and can be collapsed like this when you click on collapse all it will get collapsed expand all it will get expanded so you are getting this nice tree also now let's click on uh, customer orders you can click it from here also no need to get into always to this breadcrumb to reports actually so let's click on this order customers order customers order and you are getting this bar chart nice bar chart this is again a good example of uh, chart actually what we we are going to develop then we have these tags uh, the beautiful tags yeah great and here we have an, another uh, tab as administration where you can manage your other stuff like the top user you can see and then you can manage your sample data manage states things like that you can set your theme style and page view and everything so yeah so i just wanted to show you that what are the things you can develop in oracle apex so that is why i just thought to install this application i just want to let you know what are the things over here these all are clickable fields 
when you'll click on it you'll reach out to a certain place again when you'll click on it you'll be getting some information things like that you are able to open this model dialog page now if you'll enter any data or let's say if you'll update any data you'll write something over here you'll do apply changes things will getting things will be getting saved so everything we will learn slowly okay yeah so that is it for this video let's uh, catch up in an another video till then take care bye bye